Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video, we are going to tell you how you can add a diode laser on Flux Biamo CO2 laser. So this machine we got from our American uh, partner and now we are going to add a diode laser over here. So this is 30 watt CO2 machine, uh, looks pretty good. We have a CO2 tube over there, so we opened it up uh, to make sure that uh, we can add diode laser here without damaging and uh, changing uh, beam uh, direction just uh, not to uh, misalign it and uh, we'll show you the wiring right now okay so wiring is quite easy we have a three pin connector over there and two pin connector over there on high voltage uh, power supply and we just uh, need to plug our laser uh, 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 PWM uh, for this uh, into this three pin and do, uh, two pin connector. Yeah, so uh, yeah, uh, we just only use three pin connector. Yeah, forgot to say that we don't need to do anything with uh, two two pin connector. Okay, so here is our 8.5 watt uh, diode laser with a small uh, heat sink and our uh, laser box version 2 with slightly improved electronics inside so we actually made it working from 2.5 volt uh, PWM usually it w starts working with 3.3 volts but this one works from 2.5 volts okay so we made a fully 3d printed mount it's pretty complicated but it works good and it will be uploaded on our Thingiverse uh, design page. So, okay, let's uh, put on the laser. Pavel will do that. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's very easy, it's just one, one screw. Okay. Yeah, just one M6 screw and uh, we need to put it over here the thing is why we add this part because we need to adjust and stop when once it goes to home we need just to make sure that the entire frame will not hit uh, and stop uh, sorry the frame that's why we made this uh, this extra extra part so as you can see it's very easy just one screw here one here and uh, Looks pretty good, looks pretty pretty strong, so shouldn't be vibration, uh, shouldn't be any vibrations. Okay, we have one screw here that allows us to move it up and down. So here we have very limited uh, uh, range, so that's why we're using G2 short focal lens here. Well, you can actually remove this part, um, uh, this cell, and uh, then you can add different lens, but here and uh, the thing is that you don't need to remove the laser once you stop working with that so the laser beam uh, co2 laser beam will not be hitting uh, our our laser diode laser guy okay we go uh, let's put it home okay. so you see that it's uh, entered starting home position the display we have a painted uh, piece of aluminum and we're going to engrave endurance uh, lasers so we can start it from here so we're turning off a uh, fan so we don't need it and let's start the engraving process the way it just uploaded or just created a endurance without lasers just endurance award in bm studio software it's pretty good and uh, very a well, nice software to operate. Okay, and you see the laser engraving process. It goes pretty good and it's quite fast. And uh, yes, just forgot to say that most lasers will not work with uh, this unit because, like I said, you need special PWM uh, signal. And also, don't forget to operate to wear goggles all the time you run the uh, you operate the laser. Very important. You see the focus is good. 
quite accurate. Well done. So hope that you like this video. Please share it with your friends. And uh, yeah, if you want to learn more about Flux uh, Biamo Laser, let me know. Uh, my email is gf at enduranceroberts.com and my phone is plus 7916 and yes, learn more about endurance diode lasers on our website endurancelasers.com and our online store endurance-lasers.com and have a great and wonderful experience with Biamo and endurance lasers. Bye bye.